Hey guys, James Smith here, aka the Tattoo Butcher. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to tie a butcher's knot and going through it step by step. So, first step guys when we're going to be tying a butcher's knot. We need a good roll of string. Um, today I'm going to be using a gourmet string, so it's a little bit thinner, a little bit easier to work with. Um, if you're wondering where to get good string from, go in and talk to your butcher. Uh, I'm sure they'll send you in the right direction. If they're nice enough, they might even uh, be able to sell you a bit or, you know, sell you a whole roll. Now, I keep the top of the string in my left hand and I keep the bottom, bottom bit in my right hand. All I'm going to do is come under the leg here. Again, guys, probably the easiest way to practice is, is using a bone-in cut rather than, a, rather than a boneless cut. It gets a little bit harder when you're using boneless. It gets a little bit sloppier. Uh, so we're going to use a bone-in cut today. So in my left hand, I'm, using, I'm, keep, I'm keeping the top of the string here. In my right hand, I'm keeping the bottom bit under here. Okay, guys? So with that bottom bit, I want, I want my thumb tucked under the bottom of the string. Okay? Now with my left hand, all I'm going to do is come under that string. Okay? Gripping it with my, with my big thumb there. Okay? So it's gone under. Then all we're going to do is pinch that line there and we're going to go around my left hand thumb. We want to keep that loop a little bit open. Okay, so we've done, we've gone under there twice and now we're just going to go through the top of that loop that I've left open. Okay, and then all we need to do from there is pull that knot tight. Okay, we're going to be doing quite a few knots. Okay, so I'm going to go through this a few times. Now with my right hand, all I want to do is get a nice firm grip on that and we're just going to pull down. So this is a traditional slip knot, so once you've pulled it down, it should stay in position. So there, as you can see, it should be nice and tight like that. Now all I need to do is with two fingers, I wrap it around once, leaving a nice little hole there, and all I'm going to do is grab the other end, just to knot it in, just so it doesn't slip out. Okay, and then pull that string tight. String should be nice and tight there. And then all we're going to do is just cut that, okay? So try cut a little bit further down. It kind of looks a little bit more presentable. So I'll just cut through there. Awesome. Now we're going to do this again, guys. I'm going to do it really slowly, okay? So same again. Left hand and right hand. So my left hand is holding the top of the string there, okay? Try to keep the spaces nice and even too when you're tying. It just looks a little bit more presentable. So again, left hand going under. We're going to pinch it with our thumb while it's going under the string. And then we're just going to switch hands, going with my left hand, going over my thumb twice and under the string, okay? And then through the top, and then pull that tight. Okay, make sure that's tight. If it's not tight, it probably won't slip into position right. So, and again, pulling down, okay? You can pull that as hard as you want, guys. I mean, depending on what you're, what you're doing, like I said, if you're doing a boneless cut, you probably don't want to pull it as hard because it might kind of push all the meat out, but because we're using a bone-in cut, it's really easy to practice on. Okay, and then cut the string. Don't worry too much about getting all your knots in a row. I mean, it's a, it's a butcher's thing. We like to have everything nice and tidy and even spaced and knots tied nicely just for, just for the customers. All right, now, now again, guys. So, same again, left hand, right hand. All we're gonna do is slip that string under, pinch it with our thumb, then we're going to grip it over twice and through the top. It's a really easy knot, guys. This is one that I've used for a long time now, and it's probably one of the most simplest knots you can use. Then pull it down. Cool. And one loop, grab the string. Probably get one more knot in here, kind of pushing it to the end of the leg here. So same again. Down. Make sure you give yourself enough string too. At the start, it's probably better to give yourself a little bit too much string rather than a little bit too less. So if I go down here, it's going to be a lot harder to kind of tie. So pull a pull a bit more over the thumb and through the top. Just like that. All right, guys, that wraps up how to tie a butcher's knot. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe. Uh, also, go follow me on Instagram. It's in the notes below. Otherwise, guys, stay sharp, and I'll see you next time.